Welcome along everyone to another video. Today I am going to talk about improving your ball striking. Big thanks to Bart Delgado for recommending this video. I put a little post on my community page on my YouTube channel asking people of what they would like to see and this was one of the recommendations so big thanks for that Bart. Ball striking is one of those skills that I believe that rarely golfers actually work on the actual opportunity to get the face and the ball lined up out the sweet spot when I ask people when they step on the mat where did you hit that one out of don't know heel or toe don't know high or low on the face don't know so I think first of all we've got to learn where the strike is before we can actually start to change and understand where our bias is because every golfer will have a bias whether it's either heel toe slightly thin or slightly high on the face. Today though, I wanna to talk to you about a couple of drills that will really help you give yourself the awareness of where this club head is in space. Understand, golf is one of the rare sports where the ball is static and you stay in the same spot. Even though the ball's not moving and you're not moving, the club head is, so there's still iron hand coordination that you need to lean on. When you look at the greats, of the game that strike the ball super well. People like Sergio Garcia, uh, Freddie Couples, two, uh, Tiger Woods obviously, two, three great ball strikers. They don't necessarily have great golf swings, but they do have incredible touch and awareness of where that club head is in space. So, our usual four boxes on the screen, attack angle, club path, face angle, face to path. We've got the straight the strike locator, easy for me to say, strike locator on the screen as well. And then on the left hand side, we've got the uh, tracer. So let's hit one. Let's get one out there and just show you how the tech traces the strike of the golf ball. So off she went. Trap man liked my ball striking. Look at that, straight out of the middle. Anyway, uh, every squirrel's got to find a nut sometimes. Working from left to right, the detail of the swing hit down 2.8 from the inside to the face was slightly closed, 2.2, face to path was negative four, so we saw a draw flight. Not really interested in the data today, we're talking about the contact. Now I'm gonna hit another shot, and on this one, I'm gonna hit the ball out of the toe. Still gonna line the face up out the middle, and then as I come through, I'm gonna hit her out the toe. So there we are, off she went, and she was extremely out the toe. Now I'm going to do exactly the same, I'm going to make a swing, and now I'm going to whip it out of the heel of the golf club. Probably not as much out the heel on that one as I would have liked, but it was still pretty heel side. You probably didn't see too much change in my golf swing, but what I've got is decent awareness of where this head is in space. The whole object of the TrackMan data is to give the golfer the opportunity to line the club head and the path up with the face and the attack angle to hit the ball at the target. That still doesn't mean that you can rely on that to find the center of the sweet spot. So I'm gonna give you a couple of drills here. So the first one is I'm gonna stand in the same spot and I'm going to hit all of these golf balls from the same location. Hopefully TrackMan will see all of these. So first up, I'm gonna hit the one out the middle. So ball, the, the fifth ball in the middle of the, of the box here, I'm just gonna make a swing and strike it. Again, we're not really worried about the direction of the golf ball, even though that was a pretty darn straight shot and she came out the center, slightly hillside. Now I'm gonna set back up to the same spot, and what I'm now gonna do is I'm gonna hit this golf ball just here. Trackman might not pick that up. Oh, she did. So you can see, because the ball was there, I had to swing across it to get it, but I found the center of the face. Now I'm gonna pop myself back into the same spot, and this time I'm gonna hit this one over here. A little harder that one, a bit further away. So a little bit out the toe, didn't reach out for it enough, and you can see she definitely came out the toe. Even though I hit it out the toe, I still made contact with the golf ball. Now I'm gonna make a swing 
and we're going to hit that one top right hand corner there reached out for it caught it pretty decent strike that one straight back out the middle again as i say i'm not interested really where the golf ball goes all i'm interested in is making good contact with the golf ball and the final one the fifth and final one back in here let's see if we can get it and so obviously we'll see a bit of a low draw on that one and she's out the middle so i've managed to find the golf ball standing in the same place moving the club ahead uh, club head around it's given me good awareness of the head in space forgetting completely about my mechanics my swing mechanics just moving the club head around in space hopefully that was insightful now what we're going to do is make it a little bit more difficult i'm going to start moving around and i demonstrate this quite a lot when people talk about ball striking and swing i mean i've been playing with a golf club in my hand since i was 14 years old late bloomer late starter so this golf club is part of me so i have a good awareness of where the end of the golf club is so what i'm going to do here i'm going to keep swinging and i'm going to keep moving so that i have the ball in what would be my normal setup but the club's going to keep on moving so now all of a sudden the club's not only moving i'm moving and the ball's moving so this becomes a little bit more tricky let's see how we go so i'm going to move catch this back one move catch this back one forward one and this one and so you can see on all of those actually i made some pretty good contacts but all of a sudden i'm moving clubs moving balls moving that takes some pretty decent exquisite control of both face body swing to make contact that's drill number two and i'm just going to give you a bonus drill now i'm going to get you to line up four balls and we're going to put them all next to each other and you're going to set up to each ball with them out the middle of the club face and i want you to hit this ball without touching these this ball without touching the next two let's see how we go obviously we're not going to be able to find the sweet spot but we are going to have <laughs> exquisite control over the club head i'd recommend not doing it with a tv screen in front of you be shaking like the proverbial dog so let's see how we go so hit the first one you can see it just pushed the other balls away but obviously i didn't hit those other balls let's see ball number two oh that was a little worse that one wasn't it but i definitely got her out the toe and because i got her out the toe and i approached it a little bit this way it pushed the ball in that direction which is a good un understanding of how important face orientation is so i'm going to make sure on this one when i get it out of the toe, i'm going to make sure that that face is looking left so it doesn't push the ball into the outside one and so therefore you can see i didn't now knock that outside ball i was able to keep that there keep keep the face looking left now of course i know they're going left but the point is i'm just dialing in my attention of where i want to make contact with on that golf ball and so if you did that a few times let me tell you you'd start to really find out where your sweet spot was and so hopefully when you then come to make a swing when the ball's in its normal place you hit shots like that hopefully that's been useful if you've enjoyed it hit the like share and subscribe while you're here my friends any thoughts pop them in the comment before and i will see you on the next one